Hello, everybody. I got some really exciting uh, guest, a guest on the show today that's really uh, going to talk about an amazing technology because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in our future, folks. But we do know throughout history, man has been controlled by the food and by the water. And that's what sustains uh, our physical life. And what would happen if we ran out of food and we ran out of water? Well, I don't even want to think to know what would happen. And uh, I'm excited about today's guest because today's guest is going to make sure that uh, the water part's covered. So uh, we have Alan on the line. Alan, uh, hello, buddy. How are you? Thank you, sir. Uh, Alan, it's great to uh, see you. And uh, Alan, tell us uh, about this. First, tell us about what, I mean, water is so essential in today's world. And uh, all around the world, people are getting diseases from dirty water. And now there are people living in fear about not having any water. So tell us what you're going to uh, introduce to people to today. We've developed, it's taken about three years, but we've developed a product called the Hydro. And this is a self-contained system that you can literally backpack anywhere in the world without the need of an electrical grid. And what this will do is it will purify most any fresh water source. So you can pull water out of a river or a pond, uh, such bodies of water like that, and purify it so you have immediate drinking water. Um, the problem is worldwide, even the United States, per the World Health Organization, just in the United States alone, 19 and a half million people are infected, uh, they get sick, or they uh, uh, get some type of virus from contaminated water. Just here in the States, uh, 4.3 million worldwide contract cholera. And that's just one disease because of bad water. So we feel that, look, if you don't have water, you're not cooking, you're not bathing, you're not preventing diseases. Um, you're really, you're not living. And so when it comes to preparedness, most people overlook water. They get knives and, and guns and ammunition and, and 25 year food storage, but you can only live three days without water. So that's the purpose of the uh, system we've developed. Well, this is uh, pretty amazing. So you're saying you can take water right out of the ocean or, or, or a lake and pour it through this machine and make it uh, clean, drinkable water? Not the ocean, not yet. Fresh water sources right now. We're actually uh, in the works in developing a desalination system. Hopefully it'll be ready by the third or fourth quarter next year. But currently it is uh, a most any fresh water source. Not brackish, not yet, but yes, that's correct. We'll be able to take fresh water source like the Mississippi River, uh, a pond and things of that nature, and completely eradicate disease and bacteria from it so it is uh, potable and ready for drinking or cooking. Absolutely. Okay, so any any uh, lake or river in this whole country or the whole world, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of uh, things in those lakes or rivers in, in many parts of the world that are populated that we don't want those uh, organisms in our body because the water is dirty. But if the waters were as clean as they were in nature, you know, that water would be great for us. So you can bring it back close to that state of pureness with this. Yes, about, yep, about 99.9% .9 purity. And in fact, the system, again, we're working on the desalination later, but the system will remove uh, petrochemicals. Uh, VOCs, um, obviously microbiological contaminants like yellow fever and cholera and hepatitis and all of these things that the, the, the thing is, is whether you're in the United States or in a third world country, you will have some semblance of contaminant in your water. You do. And this will help ensure that whether you're in the uh, jungles of South America or you're uh, out in a remote part in Texas. You will be able to get drinking water no matter where you are. And frankly, uh, backpacking a hydro is a lot easier than carrying water. Uh, water uh, weighs eight pounds per gallon. If you're just talking about drinking water only, what's interesting is the World Health Organization uh, in short-term survival or emergency or disaster situations recommend uh, up to, just for drinking water alone, uh, 10 liters per person per day, which is about three gallons per person per day. Now, most people I know don't drink three gallons of water a day. Uh, I don't think I ever have a gallon a day. Absolutely. But 
they put into this uh, study different topography across the uh, world, whether you're in uh, high heat climates or not. Um, but just as just speaking for drinking water alone, I mean, this will more than take care of you, your family, or even a small community on one charge. So just for drinking alone, if you just step back and said, I need a minimum of just one gallon a day, which would probably be more than fair, this will adequately take care of you, your family, or even a small community just on one charge per day. Very good point. And then you got to think about a whole family and you got to talk about the bathing and cooking and other things that the water is used for as well, other than just drinking. So this is, is because people don't think about that as well. It's more than just drinking. There's, you know, bathing and all this stuff. It's just once we're out of water, we don't know how long we're going to be without water. But with this machine, you'll, you'll know you'll always have water as long as you're near, near a lake or a river or a stream. So uh, this is imperative for people. That's why, folks, you need to get below the video and check out the link immediately. Uh, what about now? Can't somebody just take a regular filter? I know it's not necessarily run off, uh, you know, off uh, solar or anything like that. But can't? What's the difference between your machine and a regular a good water filter? Difference is capacity. Look, there's a lot of good systems out there. I mean, we make no bones about that, but. Frankly, most people during an emergency, they need to get purified drinking water for their family and themselves. Average family is three, three people in a family. OK, most people are not going to take hours upon hours to hand crank through a really small device to get 30 gallons of water. If it's an emergency, you probably don't have that kind of time or there's some good gravity fed uh, options out there. Absolutely. But if you're only going to get out of a gravity fed uh, system two or three gallons up to five gallons a day, that doesn't even sustain you, let alone your family. And most people will not sit there and wait for eight hours for a gravity fed filter to take care of that for them. The purpose of this is you can get as much water as you need, as fast as you need, get in, get out, and be on your way. Uh, you can get up to 100 to 120 gallons through our hydro on just one charge. And that's the big difference. I see. Well, uh, you have a video where you explain the technology and you actually show the machine and how it works on Kickstarter. And I uh, will put a link below this video to that video. Uh, uh, is there anything you want to explain about, to, about that video or maybe something that uh, you thought about after that you want to let everyone know when they see the video? Absolutely. We went to the Mississippi River because that is considered uh, by uh, the United States uh, as the most contaminated freshwater body source in the country. Since, I guess, over the last eight to 10 years, 700 million pounds of contaminants have been dumped into that river. It's, you do not want to drink it you know, fresh out of the river. So we went to the Mississippi for that specific reason. And what we found is when we run the Mississippi River water through it, we do have a lab test results as well to show that the water we pulled from the river had E. coli and coliform, which are basically uh, uh, from feces or fecal matter, whether it's from uh, livestock or obviously human waste and things like that. It was positive for that. And as the lab results shows, it was completely cleaned of those forms of bacteria, which are terrible. They give you a tremendous amount of diarrhea. They will dehydrate you very fast. Most people don't die from that in the United States, but it's pretty nasty stuff. And so when we pull the water out of the Mississippi River, you can see that, number one, we, we, di we dip the jar to show you how murky it is, to give you an idea. But then when it comes out, it is clear. But then it's also cleaned as well. And frankly, we drink it. And if we were uh, scared of our product not working, trust me, <laughs> we would never, the Mississippi River, we would never drink that ever. But we pull it out of the river, we drink it, we show the clarity of it, and we do have the lab result. And I want people to pay attention to the lab result because these are things we cannot manipulate. It's an independent lab there in the area that took these samples and verified the quality of the water. Well, the reason why I wanted to have you here is because a lot of people watching will think, so what, I could just get filtered water anywhere. But we're talking about something more serious, folks. We're talking about a time where 
water won't be available the way it is right now. And you won't be able to just go to your local supermarket and buy bottled water or even turn on a filter in your house, let alone have a house. So with one of these machines that I, I understand you can carry, it's the size of a backpack, you can carry it and uh, go up to any river, lake, or stream or fresh body water pretty much anywhere and just make uh, drinking water. So this is going to be a very valuable uh, piece of equipment. Uh, so uh, on your now tell us about the Kickstarter page uh, or the website. Tell us a little bit about that. We uh, are uh, trying to get funding from Kickstarter because we feel that this project is absolutely so imperative and it has worldwide implications. I mean, missionaries worldwide, um, let alone outfitters that maybe run outfitting companies that have hundreds and hundreds of hunters that come to their uh, uh, preserves every year to hunt uh, elk and things like that. Those guys are frankly tired of dragging in gallons and gallons and gallons of water daily uh doctors overseas the preparedness obviously stateside the the application's endless so when people go to kickstarter.com you just do your search under uh life-saving water we're purification link, we're gonna put the link directly below the video mm -hmm. and then so when they click on the link you go straight to the video see the product see it in action and we explain the benefits of the product and then uh, what we're offering. And, and we feel this is important too. The uh, system will retail for around $900, but on Kickstarter to help raise awareness, raise funding, we're, we're giving people about a $200 uh, savings uh, by supporting us, but we're also sending them back an actual hydro pack that they will be able to, of course, use anywhere at any time. Wonderful, wonderful. And people could do this immediately, correct? Yes. The funding will go through the end of this month, I believe, through the 27th of September. So we still have about 14 days remaining. OK. Is there anything else you want to add about this? Because I want people to, you know, click below the video and check out that link. This is important information, as we said, and it's very detailed uh, in the video below. So just at least get, take a couple of minutes, folks, and go to the video, the link under this video. Uh, and this is really important. And if you're serious uh, about uh, being prepared, uh, water is a big, uh, probably the most important part of it. And as Alan said, the most neglected. So, uh, Alan, uh, I'm going to send them below the video. Is there anything else you want to share uh, at the meantime? The only thing I tell folks is we appreciate, again, just look at the project. Because, again, like you said, water, people don't think of water. They think of ammunition, 25-year food storage and things like that. But if you have, if you don't have water, you're not surviving. And it's not about scaring people. It's absolutely not about that. But the fact of the matter is not only is this ensuring survival for you and your family or your pets just doesn't stop at your family, but the worldwide implications of the system are uh, innumerable. It, it, it doesn't stop from missionaries to churches, to your family, outfitters, um, freshwater boats. The list completely goes on and on and on. And because you're never tied down to an electrical grid, this system goes with you. You're never stuck with leaving it behind. It will perform where you are and where you need. And I think that's the most important thing we can tell folks. Great. Now, uh, very much, folks. So get below the video right now. Check out the link. Put your comments below the video, questions, and maybe Alan will come back and answer some questions. Uh, but this is really important, so I wanted to make sure we got them on the show immediately. Thank you. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.